All right, shot another hog here. He's uh, put him on the scale 197. Shot him last night. Uh, we got in so late last night, we decided not to film last night, so we're going to go ahead and do it right now. He's got a pretty decent shield on him. So what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot some expandables into him. Again, we're using the 700 grain arrows. We're using the 400 grain arrows. But today I went and bought uh, some Rage 2 blades, and we're going to put them right in the shield. I know some people love them, some people hate them. I've never shot him, so we're going to see what happens today. We're also going to take as far as a uh, constant goes, and we're going to put some two blades into him, and then we're going to put the expandable two blades into him. We're going to see what the difference is. We're going to be shooting him out of the Switchback XT and the PSE Omen. Shooting the lighter arrows out of the Switchback XT, the heavier arrows out of the PSE Omen. I know that last night, whenever this hog was alive, I took the, the uh, four-blade stinger, and I put it all the way through him. A full pass through, put it through both shields, busted his humerus on the way out, um, so it broke his back leg. He only went like 20 yards. So what we're looking at today is we're going to see the difference in penetration of an expandable two blade versus a fixed blade straight into the shield of a hog. Good enough. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot the uh, switchback XT. Uh, pulling 72 pounds on this bow at 29 inches. Uh, we're going to shoot the two blade magnus first. Drain to the hog shield. Okay, now we're going to take this two blade rage. Once again, we're going to try and put it right in the hog shield, right there. So we're looking at the, the Rage 2 blade and the fixed blade. The Rage 2 blade obviously had less penetration and is stuck. That's how much penetration we got with the Rage 2 blade. Holy crap, we lost the blade completely on the Rage 2 blade also. I'm going to take a look at that. And we didn't even go in one side and out the other on this hog. Uh, we're down to one blade with the Rage into into a hog shield. Um, that's how much penetration we got right there. This one here. Well, this one here is about that far in. Broadhead's right on the other side of the shield. Uh, so we're pretty good ways in here. We get at least a lung. Probably kill the hog. Probably get double lung. Um, but we definitely don't get through the second shield on the other side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the heavy arrows. Exact same setups, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, now we're going to shoot the uh, PSE Omen with the 700 grain arrow, Magnus 2 blade on the end. Omen's cranked up to 74 and a half pounds. Going to be putting it right in the hog shield. See what happens. Take the Rage 2 blade. Out of the PSE Omen, 74 and a half pounds on the draw. Pulling 29 inches on this bow also. Uh, Rage 2 blade. Put it right in the shield. Okay, we're down here. This right here is the arrow with the magnet.
Magnus two blade on the end. This is a Rage two blade. This is an expandable. This is a fixed blade cut on contact. If you could come over here and look at the difference. We've actually got arrows sticking out the back side of this hog. with this two blade right here. The Rage, well we got that much penetration. We were that far past the, past the uh, what it does is go shield, scapula, rib cage, lungs. And since we can slide back and forth, we know we got all that, we got through all that, where this is chest cavity is what this right here shows us. We are that far into the chest cavity. That is a single lung on this hog. He runs for a long way. Those rages, they have a huge opening on them, a huge cutting diameter. I think they work great for deer, probably elk, small hogs. You take and you put a rage broadhead straight into the shield of this hog right here, and this is what's going to happen. Now, Let's look at something else. This hog right here, this hog right here, this hog right here, and you're in the perfect world where you're, hog, you're hunting in a ground blind. He walks out in front of you in the daytime, and you can wait for him to get a little bit quartered away, leg forward, and you can put a, you can put an arrow right there. That's all heart and lungs. But in the real world that I hunt in, a hog like this very rarely, really never comes out in the daytime. So you got to take your shot at night. Then, whenever you do hit him with the red light or whatever color light you got, you got about two seconds to make your shot. And not to add, I'm hunting 16 foot up in the air. So you try and take one of these arrows and put it in that spot right there at an angle like that, and all of a sudden it becomes a, a lot more difficult. So for all y'all who want to shoot this, this little shot right here, it's a good shot. There's nothing there. You hit right there, you're in guts. You hit right there, you're in shield. You hit right here, you're in the, in the, uh, in the bones. So if you're going to shoot a light arrow and you're going to put it right there, you better be dead on. Otherwise, this hog's gonna get away. For me, I'm gonna take my heavy arrow and I'm gonna have a kill zone. I'm gonna have all this as my kill zone. And my hogs are gonna go down. So anyway, guys, this right here is exactly why I don't shoot expandables into hogs. But I'm not saying this rage can't kill this hog. I'm just saying that this rage into this hog shield is not going to get deep enough penetration for you to find this hog or for this hog to die. I know that these two blades are going to do it, whether I use the Magnus, whether I use the Stinger. I know that they're going to get in there and they're going to get me the most penetration that I can get with these heavy arrows. Now you're shooting a lighter arrow and you hit bone, it's over with. Because you can't beat the shield and the bone with a lighter arrow. You can't do it. You take these heavy arrows. I broke his leg on the way out last night. That's part of the reason he didn't go very far. He was running on one broken leg. Busted his humerus in half last night. So, what I'm saying is, you guys are going to shoot big hogs, and you're going to shoot them at night, or you're hunting from a tree stand that's way up in the air. Get you a get you a bow with a higher kinetic energy, get you some heavy arrows, and you can put them wherever you want to. It broadens your kill zone from that to this. Okay? 